Well, hello. I have this read. And it's, um, doesn't have a title. It's not toss the title, so, you know. It usually comes at the end. Um, something's not computing. It's not getting the information that should be coming across to this particular group. It's just not computing. They're not getting it. They still have visions of sugar plums dancing in their head. So, you're not getting that this situation is going to yield absolutely nothing in your favor. You guys are not seeing eye to eye about anything. And no matter who tells you to, or excuse me, no matter who's giving you advice, positive advice, you're not listening. You're like, la, 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 la. It's like, it's not, you're not trying to let nothing get in from anywhere, anybody. This is a super, super, I'm totally in denial group. So I'm going to call you guys denial, right? Denial, dear denial, Didi, your behind is totally in denial about everything. <laughs> la, 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 la. What is wrong with you? Why in the world do you not want to let this receive this information? You are not a child, but you are acting like one, refusing to receive any type of information, refusing to see eye to eye with a person or people. Who keep trying to give you the right advice. You roll these dice. With a person. And this person. Went on about their life. They moved on. Went to go handle whatever. You know go live their life. Right. Basically this, this person went to go live their life. And you are stuck in your emotions. Not wanting to let go. But the ties that bind have been cut, right? There's no ties between you and this person or people or situation. <laughs> it's over with. And it doesn't matter whether you go into a bag, your bag of tricks or not. It's over with. You have your own secrets that have been revealed that you need to handle, that you need to deal with. Because going back into your bag of tricks, it's not going to change the situation. This person is gone. They're gone on. So whatever effect that had, that, that whatever you were doing had on that person before, they're numb to it. It's nothing to them any longer. They have other things to do. This is their seed time. So they're planting other things right now, as well as harvesting. So they have a seed time and harvest at the same time. So the group or person, I'm gonna just say the person, the person you're chasing behind, the situation you're chasing behind is fruitful and they're busy. So they don't have time to partake in the silliness, the game, the, uh, the vendetta. They've turned their back to it. And they refuse to turn back around and play the game with you. It's not going to happen. They're done. It's over with. they like, that's your ish. That's your ish. Right. That's the ish you love. I have moved on. Take your eye off of me and do something else with yourself. Because you're definitely not going to get anywhere still chasing behind this person or situation because it's a wrap it's a dead end situation i mean it's so dry and dead <laughs> that bad boy recola it got an echo right it has a total echo right that situation is so dead and dry it's an echo there's nobody there but you in this situation 
and you and you alone. You keep doing the same thing over and over again. And I said it has no effect. And it never will have any effect. Not any longer. And even if you try something different, it still wouldn't have an effect because this person just truly, truly dropped the situation. They were fed up and they just dropped it. So, there won't be any more blooming in this situation. There's nothing left in the situation. There will be no bloom. There will be no harvest on your end, dear denial. You didn't expect this outcome at all. You didn't even take it into account. Of course you didn't expect it. You wanted to win. But the thing is, you didn't even take it into account. You felt like it was a surefire thing. But it definitely was not. It was one of those deals where you thought it was going to be an easy thing that you can go in, strong arm it, if need be. If it wasn't handed over, you go in and strong arm it. But, unfortunately, this person did not allow that to happen in no way, shape, or form. They ended up shaking you up. They shook you up real good. So much so that they shook all the change out your pocket. But this person didn't keep it. Right? They just wanted to shake it out your pockets and let you know that's what's up. But you should have chilled with your own self and stayed about my grill with your nonsense. Because you bit off more than you could chew. Right? And then the person walked off. Right? So. So now. You're looking for some type of betrayal. But you don't know this person to betray them. Don't. So it's like, yo, you need to get on. It's like you and this person do not have an intimate relationship with each other. You don't. You're, you have a superficial relationship. Not even, right? It's superficial, but it's not a relationship. So, it's like, it's nothing going to come of it. It's, you, should, you should walk away from it. Because you was out here playing follow the leader anyway. So, I mean, ad, everything comes to an end. <laughs> and that's what's, what's up. Everything comes to an end. This situation has gotten to a weird level. It's a weird situation now. But like I said, as with everything, everything comes to an end. Nothing continues on in the natural, on the physical plane. Nothing continues on. Everything comes to an end. And shutting your eyes and still continuing to go after this person who has set stipulations with you that you definitely know about it's going to cause you to hurt yourself bad you are already hurting yourself because you're the one who won't stay out this person's face It's like you're trying to stay bonded to this person. Because you look up to this person. But it's distorted because you look up to them, but you hate them at the same time. You want to be this person, but you want them off the planet at the same time. So... Hmm. I don't know. It's like you rallying up others against this person. But it's usually yourself who just need to stop being a trashy person. 
being so hard pressed to hurt someone else to be a nightmare to a person because that's really what you're trying to do you're just trying to be a nightmare to a person straight nuisance that's what I call them you might as well hang it up though hang it up because you either developed an obsession or will develop an obsession with this person. Because like I said, it's a vendetta. Or you're getting a vendetta towards this person. And your best bet is to go ahead with that. Because what's going to happen is you'll never be able to come up out that mindset of a vendetta with a person. Because that's hard to get over when you have a vendetta because more than likely you want the person eliminated dead and that is totally totally unhealthy and what has this person done for you to want them dead why are you allowing yourself to have a vendetta against a person most people who have vendettas have it has nothing to do with something serious and tragic that happened. It just has to do with not knowing how to walk away, not knowing how to let go, not, how, not knowing how to accept your own responsibility in a situation. It has to do with wanting to be something that you never intended to be in the first place, but it looked good on somebody else. So now you want to try it out. It's a lot of uh, young, young, I don't know. It's like I don't know. I'm hearing dearly departed. Like you guys just need to just, just seriously go ahead. It's overdone. And I'm going to leave you with that. The cards are saying, whatever it is you're doing, no matter what. And this could be multiple situations in your life. You may not just be dealing with one person that you're getting on their nerves. You might be getting on multiple people's nerves. It's overdone. That's the word that I'm going to leave you guys with. Anybody participating in tomfoolery, you have overdone it. It's been overplayed. To the point to where you are obsessed and losing everything yourself or have lost everything an object of your affection been went on been went on and the people that you had come into it with you they really weren't into it wholeheartedly no way that's your vendetta so they like yo mm, i'm finished with it too a lot of them walked away from you that you did get to get to go against this person with you. But they ain't there now. Because it truly was your issue, your vendetta. Not the, other, the people that you got together. So it was easy for a majority of the people that you got together to walk away. But the other ones... Uh, I guess they call themselves taking the fence as well based off of whatever you told them about this person so they kept they, they, they also have gotten a vendetta with this person but we all know somebody oh well <laughs> right go figure out your life don't disturb mine so as I said overdone that's the word you need to think about this is overdone. Y'all have a great evening. Well, night. It's nighttime. All right? Bye-bye.